how all this propaganda that we hear in the news, all this stuff that like literally like takes our energy and like causes us like stress and anxiety, as much as we can leverage it and help it to wake us up, you have to understand that like there's things going on that are asking us to align to it. It takes a lot of humility to be able to receive it though. Because, you know, duality is taught to us where we swing from either we're full of ourselves or we have no self-worth. And we're always like struggling with our third chakra, like, because we're in 3D so-called earth, right? So one of the biggest targets is the way we relate to ourselves. We either think, oh, I have all the answers, or I'm just a piece of shit. I don't know anything. I don't know what's going on. And the great thing about what's going on here is that the substance of this ether being available again is nurturing us to come into balance because we have been disconnected from the mother for thousands of years. I mean, we can conceptualize it, we can look at like, you know, images of the divine feminine through religion, like, oh, nice Virgin Mary sculpture. Mm. Like, it's very nice that you haven't forgotten about Mary Magdalene, who's a repentant whore. <laughs> Very cool. Totally honoring the feminine. It has nothing to do with the fact that the true feminine energy is a planetary consciousness. That's why we call it Mother Earth. It doesn't mean that it's not completely and totally in oneness and balance with the masculine. That Christ consciousness is the 12 strand DNA awakening, it's the avatar consciousness. And the thing that seals the deal and protects us from further wars like we've seen in Lyra and the Orion Wars, and the reptilians just like completely, you know, getting their hooks in and just... And the fact that we're in this situation is, what is the real goal here? Is that the 12 strands and beyond DNA of the Christ avatar consciousness doesn't really do very well without the 13th Mother Earth. And the 13th mother arc is a neutron window of the zero point energy that connects to the seven higher universes, which is Andromeda and the Milky Way, that are one again. But we're in a free will universe, so sort of, yeah, we were sort of like, oh, I really want to, you know, lose all that. So <laughs> when we start to activate it in our chakra system, it's actually an infinity spiral, eighth and ninth, as far as the stargates on Earth are very much around like uh, China, Tibet, and uh, so, and it's gold, silver, gold, very much is related to the masculine, silver is the feminine. And, and it's this circulation of going from carbon-based AI density, and we've kind of been in this AI 